in HD. This is 13 Eyewitness News. Tonight, there's a sense of relief in our area. Congress has passed the NASA authorization bill, and that means financial stability and job security for tens of thousands of people from Houston to Webster to Clear Lake and beyond. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Quinn live with the story. Kevin. Dave, folks living in communities in and around Johnson Space Center here have been in limbo since February, not knowing what the future holds for the uh, space exploration or just how much longer many of their jobs might still be around. Finally, they got the news they have been waiting for. Just today, Elena Gab closed on her new home in Webster. I really was concerned because there was talk of, you know, people leaving and the area being devastated. She, like so many here, wasn't sure what direction Congress and the president might take NASA next. Everyone is breathing a sigh of relief. That relief came late last night as Congress approved a three-year, $58 billion plan to fund NASA. It extends the life of the International Space Station to 2020. It earmarks funding for the fledgling commercial space transportation industry. It adds one one more shuttle flight before the fleet is retired. And it develops a deep space crew capsule and rocket. This Congress has, has made a statement and, you know, as a member of the committee that has jurisdiction, it's not over. Representative Pete Olson says Congress has laid out a blueprint for the future of space exploration. Let people know that there is going to be a future in human spaceflight exploration. They don't have to, to pack up and leave. Uh, so from that standpoint, it's, it's, a, it's good for this community. It's good. Bob Mitchell with the Greater Houston Economic Partnership says without funding, three to 5,000 NASA contractor jobs would have been lost. Some in the real estate industry worried too many people might begin selling homes. There was a lot of fear, a lot of friends, colleagues, jobs at risk. Mark Kinley has owned and operated Digitex here since 1996. 20% of their business, he says, comes from NASA contractors. So Kinley echoes the relief felt today by so many. I'm, I'm a lot more optimistic probably today than I was three days ago, yes. There will, though, still be many jobs lost. Some, some of them planned, about 300 just for tomorrow at United Space Alliance. The total number of jobs lost limited, though, about a, to about 1,000 experts say, many of those primarily working on the shuttle program and also Constellation. This bill passed by Congress late last night still must be signed by the president. We are live tonight at Johnson Space Center. Kevin Quinn, 13 Eyewitness News.